The Shark Bay Ecosystem Research Project is on a quest to unravel the tiger shark's role in this amazing ecosystem. But to study these top predators, first we have to catch them. At first light, we head to our study location. Anchors are tied to 30 meters of line. That's about 100 feet. Hooks are baited with a kilogram, about two pounds of fish. Then the drum lines are deployed. We set a total of 10 lines each fishing day. Time and GPS are recorded. And then we wait. But in the peak of summer, we don't have to wait long. We got a shark here. It's a big shark. To keep the shark calm, we idle the boat forward to allow a steady stream of water to pass over its gills. Big female. Look, it has a beefy, beefy shark. To further reduce stress on the shark, we work quickly to collect data. We attach an identification tag to her dorsal fin. If she's recaptured, we'll be able to see how much she grew. Tag is in. It is one zero three two zero. Next, we take several measurements of the shark. I'm zeroed. Two sixty seven. Total is three fifty. So she's not that long, but she's just massive because she's so fat. She looks like she's a lot longer than she really is. Of course, she is over 11 feet long. So one great thing about tiger sharks is when, if you can flip them upside down, they go into a state called tonic immobility. And in this trance-like state, we can collect valuable blood samples. There we go, nice, Katie. Taking some blood. The blood gives us clues to what the sharks are eating. This information helps us find out how important the seagrass is to the entire food web and how sharks might influence the species that eat the seagrass. To find out which habitats tiger sharks like to hunt, we track them using an ultrasonic transmitter. Once it's attached, we cut off the hook and release the shark. We use a hydrophone and receiver to track the shark. We can hear the transmitter's ping from up to a kilometer, about half a mile away. Every five minutes, we record the position, depth, and heading of the shark. Tiger sharks are always on the move, and it's our job to keep up. Over the past 12 years, we have 40 tracks, and tagged over 700 sharks. The Shark Bay Ecosystem Research Project is by far the world's most extensive study on tiger sharks. There's such an abundance of tigers in Shark Bay that some days we'll catch seven before lunch. The tiger sharks we catch in the bay average almost 10 feet or 300 centimeters long. 387 total length, that's a big boy. Sharks this size pose a serious threat to the turtles and dugongs in Shark Bay. And our work on tiger sharks and these large herbivores suggests that tiger sharks are vital in balancing this ecosystem. Ultimately, our studies will help guide efforts to protect and even restore marine communities elsewhere in the world where sharks are disappearing. The Shark Bay Ecosystem Research Project will continue to monitor the tiger sharks of Shark Bay for years to come to ensure they are thriving in the face of global threats and to help understand their ecological role in one of the most pristine ecosystems on the planet.